on a chilly day like this, sometimes it's nice to have a cocktail. So we have a mixologist on the CCO rooftop today who is going for a national title. Yeah, Nathaniel Smith from Spoon and Stable is here with us this morning. Uh, you won the regional title for the Bombay Sapphire Most Imaginative Bartender it's Competition. Incredible. So. Yeah, yeah. What is the drink that you came up with that is so, so fantastic? The drink that I have is a drink called the Silk Road. It okay. is based on an Indian condiment called Raita. Raita is made from yogurt and spices and either celery or cucumber. When I was a kid, my dad sold oriental rugs and when he would have businessmen in town from the Middle East, we would go to this Indian restaurant. And when I was six or seven, I couldn't have anything spicy. So I would always have this dish called Raita. And huh. years later, when I was working at an Indian restaurant, I had it. And by then, I was already obsessed with gin, and I was eating it. And it just kind of, poof, it, it makes sense. It's it refreshing. Worked. It's botanical. It's crisp. It's all of these things. And so it's basically a combination of raita and gin and pulling all the 10 botanicals from Bombay. All right, let's together. see how it's done. All right, so we're going to start by adding a Ooh, celery. segment. Fancy tongs here, I know. We're going to muddle that to get out the fragrance, but also just a little bit of the juices. I love the crunch of celery. I didn't think you muddle it. <laughs> celery is so tough, but okay. From there, we're going to be adding uh, saffron, simple syrup, Ooh. Uh, three quarters of that. Where do you get that? And make it. Oh my gosh. You make that on your own. And you've, so this amazes me. You've only been a bartender for about a year. Yeah. You're working at Spoon and Stable. It's I have an a really great teacher in Rob Jones, who actually was a previous mixologist that won uh, the Bombay Sapphire Most Imagined Bartender. He actually placed very high in the national at uh, Vegas. Wow. So and then next, I added the lemon. I'm going to be adding uh, Greek yogurt. This is spiced with turmeric, really? pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, and then also smoked paprika. Oh just goodness. squirting that into the... And you the, mix that up yourself as well? Exactly. This is a bitters called Peychaud. It's, it's steeped with charnushka seeds, which is an Indian bittering agent. I'm putting eight drops of that into the cocktail. I'm starting to see why most imaginative was oh, a right. very easy title for you to get. And then we're going to be using Bombay Sapphire. Ah. One and three quarters ounce. What's the difference between the Sapphire and the non-Sapphire? Sapphire is vapor distilled. It was one of the first gins that ever used this method so it gets a really crisp kind of airy sort of botanical it also was the first to ever label all of the 10 botanicals so you can actually kind oh, of follow neat. alongside and it was one of the first gins that ever really pushed into the market which is kind of why a lot of bartenders are able to pull all the gins and use them that they are today wow and so are we going to shake this up now we're going to do one little quick shake it's called a mime shake that's oh, just my to get goodness. everything kind of so even the shakes go. have a name. <laughs> See, I went to the bartending school years ago. They didn't teach us any of this. Oh, okay. Give it, oh. Give it just a little quick one. All right, Kim. Just a quick one? Yeah. yeah that looks good. That. How's that? That's great. I bet it's going to taste good. delicious. Yes. All right. I gave it the magic touch for I mean, that's sure. of course what has to come next is we have to then sample it. But now you're going to add We're some gonna ice? We're going to add just a few ice cubes. Small ice cubes, which add dilution. You want a little bit of water in the cocktail. Most cocktails are about 20 to 30% water. And then one big ice cube. That's oh, going look at to that. be. <laughs> and this does smell amazing. So now we're going to shake this all in in time for the taste. <laughs> oh my God, that smells really good. Kind of so it. aroma oh, is yeah. one of the testers. Oh my goodness. It's all right, flavor. we want to sample this it's now. Appearance. Smell the celery. <laughs> it's a lot of things. Also, there's one more element. This okay. is strega. It's an Italian liqueur. It's named after a witch from Benevento, huh. which is the town of witches. It has a smoked Spanish paprika oil inside of it, too. <gasps> what I'm is that garnish? That. This is a lemon peel that's been aged in the same bitters that are right here. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. So, I'm going to need you guys to clap when I do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Do you oh, always get a round of applause yes. uh, when people Every when single time. I Every ah! time. <laughs> okay. I love it. All right, All right let's taste. do a real quick taste. Wow. That looks. That color looks just beautiful. I cannot yeah, wait. Kim, do you? ingredients I've never heard of. I don't. You I know, most no of them I have. I'm going to go have, ahead and just go ahead and taste it. Is that okay? Give me one second. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull these knives out We are out running of out of time. So I cannot. I can't. Wait I know this is suspense. Sorry. The suspense <laughs> All right. is killing me. Go we need to know. This is beautiful. Yeah. Don't spill. Yo, Kylie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good. You have to try it. All right. That I is have to try unbelievable. It. All right. Hey, Happy but you guys 